to the first Time Lord here. We're talking, uh, you asked a question of what is time. Time's a really interesting concept that, uh, basically there's a uh, saying that says, um, if you don't have anything to measure, everything that everything happens all at the same time. And there's a uh, concept in the movie called Lucy that actually demonstrates that without time, events don't have a beginning, beginning and end. Now, that's one way of looking at time, and time is nothing more than a way to measure a sequence of events that happen. So one happens, and then another happens, and another happens, and it's just a way for us to actually make sense of this world. So when it comes right down to it, um, no worries. So when it comes down to it, there's actually many different measures of time. You've got Gregorian calendar, you've got Julian calendar, you've got star dates, you have Mayan calendar. Each one is just measuring the progress from one event to the other. Time is nothing more than just a simple measurement system, much, much like meters, much like um, distance, I mean that's distance, much like volume, you know, a liter is to volume, much like mass is to, to weight is to, uh, to an object's volume and its acceleration with gravity. It's nothing more than a measurement system that actually makes, a, makes life make sense and provides cause and effect in a way of being able to well, more or less, for scientists especially, to be able to uh, to measure what, what the effect of something is in a linear way. Now, there's a problem with time, in fact, that uh, there's a lot of cases where it actually is not linear. And this is actually documented in the show, uh, Dr. Who, that basically describes time as a wibbly wobbly ball of mess. And uh, that's not 100% accurate. What's more accurate is uh, time in itself can have many, many, many different appearances, and they're not necessarily always a a one-for-one one correlation from one system to the other. For instance, Julian calendar to Gregorian calendar, uh, you don't have a one-for-one one correlation, especially with Mayan calendars. There's an approximation of dates because cycles are actually changing over time, and those cycles may have been lost, or the way to actually measure them may have been lost. And in some cases, there's actually a theory out there that time doesn't exist. And it's nothing more than a measurement system. So for some beings, it can actually float through space and time. And I would argue that uh, this is actually a good possibility with the human mind, where you have the capability to be able to go back and forth and, uh, you know, to the past, to the present, to the future, and to alternate realities by simple thought. So it's, it's said that the mind is timeless, and as a simulation of the device, it being timeless has that capacity to actually not have any rules or constraints based on time and time's measurement systems. So time, just think about time as nothing more than just a, a way to measure and to, uh, a, a way to measure cause and effect, a way to actually have an experience of this thing called life and to actually see a sequence of events that happens and make the logical order of it in a linear sense of the word. Without time, you'd have really, I mean, a different kind of order. I mean, I personally can't imagine what things would be like outside of time. But then again, I've also got a limited imagination too. So anyways, hope, hope this helps answer that question. Thank you.